In this video, I'm going to show you the Shade Light Replace Me feature. Replace Me is a feature that's new in Shade Light version 2. It's a unique tool that helps SketchUp viewport performance by taking simple geometry in SketchUp and replacing it with the full 3D geometry in Shade Light. In this first video, I'm going to show you how we can use the Replace Me feature with the components library that we have set up for you in the 3D warehouse. So I have my components window open here and I'm going to search for Shade Light Library. We can see this brings up the Shade Light Library that we have set up and inside this library we have the Replace Me Library of components. What I would recommend would be to save this as a favourite. We can just click on the icon here and we can choose Add to Favourites. And then in our list next to the home icon there, we can see this adds a replace me to the favourite list. This just makes it easier to find in the future. Inside the replace me library, currently we can see we have a library of 3D people and also a library of 3D trees. And this will be growing over time. So in my library of trees here, and these trees have all been supplied by Dynascape. I'm going to select one of these trees and I can bring this component into my SketchUp window. This component has been modelled in the, the traditional way of creating trees in SketchUp and we can see this is a face me component. So as I spin round there we've just got this image which is a render of the tree and this is just a face me component. But if I spin this round to the top view here we can see in our shader light render window that we have the full 3D tree. Now we can see our uh, icon at the bottom of the tree has this circle here with an arrow pointing for in the direction of the symbol. Now if I spin this uh, component round, this makes very little difference in the face me component, but this actually rotates the tree round in the shade light render window. So this means if you have a large number of trees here, you can place them in different directions and then they don't look as uniform. This component can be copied in the usual way. And we can see this brings this straight into our shade light render window. We have another tree there. And the component can also be scaled as well in the SketchUp window. And this copies across well straight away into shade light. So as you can see, it's a very quick and simple way of creating a large number of trees. We could place hundreds of these trees in our SketchUp window. And this wouldn't affect the performance in SketchUp and these would render as the full 3D trees in shade light. In the other videos, we're going to show you the other two methods of using the Replace Me component. The first method is using a model from my uh, local machine, and the other method is using a model from the 3D warehouse using the direct link to the model.